What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. If you're new to the channel, because I've noticed there's a few new subscribers. My name is Tony. This is my 2004 Hummer H2. Hence the reason for the name of the channel, Daily Driven H2. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be putting, replacing these lights up here. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'm going to come off these two and this guy right here. If you want to see what these three look like, all lit up. I'm going to place a link in the description of this video or maybe up there now somewhere up on top I'm going to put a link to the video I made when I installed these three lights on I'm also going to include links to get these lights from Amazon including the wiring harness so again that's what we're doing today I was going to make this video last night but it was windy around here like really really windy and no matter how good of a microphone I would have had on me, the audio was probably going to be trash. So that's why I waited till today, as you can see, better weather because it was even cloudy yesterday. So let's get this install going. So this is what I'm going to replace him with. This guy's right here. Ever since I installed the new headlights, I think that these round lights right here on, on the uh, guard, on the grill guard, they kind of go better with these new headlights. And these squarey ones kind of throws off the look of the, no, but that's just me. It kind of throws, throws off the look of the, um, of the H2 with square and nice round halo LED kind of lights. These lights right here, they, they look great. Now, again, if you happen to be looking at these right here or if you're looking to put these somewhere else or whatever and you want to get these exact ones as always i'm going to include links to these lights on the description of the video these are from amazon and the brand is kind of like a weird brand you can, i don't know if you can see it right there all right so this is what i ended up with same bracket for these uh square lights that we took off it's kind of sideways. I know they'd be sticking out, it's sticking out a little bit. That's what I ended up with. I'm gonna go ahead and finish all the um, all the wiring real quick, and I'm gonna try to include on this video. I'm gonna wait for nighttime to record a little clip of what the lights look like when when the uh, headlights are on together, and um, I'll include these. Um, I'll include it on at the end of the video, in the middle of the video. All right, so now, this is a wiring harness that I'm gonna use for these two lights, which I'm also gonna post a link in the description of this video for this wiring harness. But there's one thing that I wanna let you know, guys, ahead of time. You're probably seeing all the videos that I made installing lights. The link that I'm gonna provide for this wiring harness it's either gonna, you either gonna end up with a wiring harness like this that has your uh, um, um, connector for the battery, your switch or whatever you wanna put it inside and anywhere. And then this specific wiring harness has two connections. Obviously we're, we're working with two lights. This one comes like that already. And if the wind screw with the sauna, I apologize. But anyways, this is the one that we need. The link that I provided has shipped to me two different kinds. I don't know why I didn't even bother returning it, but sometimes you might end up getting with a wiring harness that only has a connection for one light. I don't know if that had corrected that already, but when you click on the link for the wiring harness, be warned, you might end up with this guy right here with two ends or they might send you on with one end double check it when you click on my link double check maybe they uh, they got better at uh, putting the right details on it but you just want to give you a heads up that you might end up with a wiring harness that, uh, harness that only has the connector at the end for one light all right before you guys get into any wiring or anything at all I'm just showing you what I did. If you don't feel comfortable touching wires in your truck at all, 
stop washing and don't try this. Go to a shop. Just so that you know, if you're in the States, like I'm in, I'm in the LA area, in Los Angeles, four wheel parts, one's like 125, 150 to do, just to wire the lights. A couple of other shops, the cheapest that they want to charge me is 130, yeah, about the same, 125, 130, just to do the wiring. So, this is not only that I like doing things myself if I can, but this video is gonna save you about a hundred, just over a hundred bucks. But again, if you don't feel comfortable messing with wires, go to a shop, have a professional do the whole install. Show you how I router my, uh, my wires. This right here is your little fuse, um, little fuse and relay box. It goes right here on the side of the battery. It basically follows the headlight and the um, side marker wires. I use zip tie to keep it keep it in place. Just kind of follow that. In my case, I went over this metal right here. Again, zip ties right there. That's where the lights are at. Once I close the hood, I go ahead and hook that up and we're all good. So I kept the wire going over right on top. And again, zip ties, both zip ties on that side should be fine. I'm gonna close the hood now and, and just wire the lights up and we'll be all set. Now, some of you might prefer to keep the wires right here on the bottom, along the bottom right there. The reason why I do this, the reason why I tried to go on top and I did it with the lights that I took off too. The reason why I stay on top is for the obvious reason. If you, if you go on, a, on a water every now and then, if there's a way you can keep your wires, you know, the higher you keep them, the better. They're still gonna catch some water, but again, the higher you keep them, the better. But if you never go on any water at all, they just go ahead and do it along the bottom. I just wanna show you what I did. I'm gonna go ahead, cut these, pieces that are sticking out. I'm gonna close the hood, wire up the lights. All right, so we're all set with the wiring. That's what you're gonna end up with. I'm gonna go inside, turn the lights on now. I know it's daytime, you can't really see what they look like, but don't worry, I'm gonna include a little uh, clip at nighttime so you can see these lights in action. All right, now, this is it. There you go. Again, like I said a little while ago, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and include a little short clip of the lights at night. So you can actually see how much light they put out. So I went ahead and put a there you go. I went ahead and put some on top of the night sensor. So you can see day and night sensor, so you can see both of them on headlights and the new round lights. Again, if you guys like these lights, even the headlights, these, these headlights, if you, if you haven't watched the video where I installed the headlights, go ahead, click on top right now, and I'll include a link even on the description of the video for the full um, headlight install. If you're new to the H2, you just bought your H2, and you still got the stock lights on, there's a lot of Jeep uh, Wrangler lights on Amazon. The seven inch brown headlight is the ones that fit on the H2. Don't get nine inch headlights. Those are for the newer Jeeps. The newer Wranglers, they got bigger headlights. These headlights right here are the seven inch brown headlights. Mines don't change color at all. They're just got the little halo and then when you do the, uh, um, when you do the blinkers, the full outside of that halo goes on amber too. There are some other lights that they, um, they can change the color and all that good stuff. I didn't care for any of that, so I just went ahead and got this. But there you have it. So in a few seconds now, you're about to see a clip of these lights at night. All right, so here's what it looks like just with the headlights. With the headlights turned on. I'm about to walk inside now and turn on the lights on the bottom. Let's see. 
There you go. There you go. That's what they look like. It looks like I'm going to have to adjust them, but you can see. I mean, the camera doesn't do justice, honestly. The camera does not do justice. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on, on top just to see. Just to see what I'm working with. Let me see. Let me see what we got here. Bam! There you go. Huh. So, there you have it. Honestly, I love the look right there. Love that look with the round lights. Now that I have the new headlights. The only thing that looks out of place is when these, um, these lights on the bottom are turned on. They still got the ember bulbs on it. I haven't found round lights that fit down there. I think there's a four inch one, but I had to modify the back. What I think I'm gonna do for the time being is I'm gonna go ahead and get light bulbs to replace them until I find something that I wanna put down there. But there you have it. That's what the lights look like. Again, there's going to be links in the description of this video if you want to get the headlights, you want to get this wrong light, and if you want to get the light on top also. The lights that you saw in there before I started the install today, they'll also be linked in the description of this video. Alright, there you have it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.